we see a lot of uh, problems with people who casually go on to a low carbohydrate diet. There are no risks in terms of kidney function. I'll, I'll tell you what's bad about it first, diarrhea. Is rough. There are no risks to eating the foods that we have been eating as humans for our entire existence. So instead of your diet breaking down a bunch of different things, it's just breaking down one thing. Elk meat. No one is saying meat is bad for you. What we are saying is if all you eat for your whole life ever is just meat, that's not good. Do I don't have know? to be a doctor. I'm just like, flat. I'm blown away right now. for a week, day one. So the rules of this challenge, I looked it up on Google. Carnivore diet is simple. You only eat animal foods and products. Everything else is restricted. That means no fruits, no vegetables, no bread or grains. Limiting your dairy intake to low lactose foods. It's almost a complete opposite of a vegan diet. I'm allowing myself to have milk because I have lacto-free milk. So the low lactose food. And for breakfast, I've just got streaky bacon and two eggs. Initial thoughts of this challenge. I think it's gonna be pretty tricky. I mean, like I think the first like, two days are probably going to be really easy because it's going to be like like it's a fun change and it but and you know and then it's something new and whatever but i think the last the last four to five days are probably going to be really difficult gonna have to try to get as creative as possible um with my meals meal one smash it let's go all right lunch time let's go two chicken thighs so i was thinking that something that could either make or break this you know sort of make it a lot easier or make it a lot more difficult is sort of like preparedness of food and like planning ahead and always having things cooked so that if I'm really hungry instead of just being like oh well I guess I have to just eat bread I'll have some stuff ready so instead of just cooking two of these I cook four and there's some behind the camera for later on or for a snack or something huh. I honestly think that like one of the hardest parts of this whole week is gonna be me not eating fast food like me not getting fries and getting burgers and stuff because like, I think, if I'm gonna be honest, I think I eat Macca's probably twice a week, like religiously, and that's excluding me getting coffees. Any given day, I'll have like two or three of these empty cups in my car, so that's probably gonna be the hardest part. I went and played basketball, and after I played basketball, I was like loving it. Like I was like, I feel so good. And then we went to work out, my mate and I, and like, Two seconds into the workout, felt like absolute shit. Like I just crashed big time, I hit a wall, I had no energy. And I was like, I don't even know if I can be able to do this for one day. So dinner, I've got a really delicious looking plate of steak and eggs. Um, I think I need to like innovate more. And like, I don't know, because visually it makes me not want to eat it. And mentally I'm not going to be full already. So I'm going to eat dinner and then I guess we'll see you tomorrow for breakfast. I tell you what, bacon and eggs is not what I want this morning. <laughs> huh. Abby's eating waffles for breakfast and I'm <laughs> eating bacon and eggs and sausages for the second day in a row. So last night before I went to bed I had an insane headache and I don't care what you say, I'm blaming that on all the meat. That's like the equivalent of meat sweats. Um, but I did have a fantastic sleep. I had like the deepest sleep I've had in so long and I don't know if, if it, anything can change that quickly in like a day. But yeah, I had a, had a great sleep. Um, here's breakfast, a nice plate of animal products for me. But have a look at this. Tell me that you don't want to eat this so much more. Look at that. Ugh. Yum, again, what a lunch. What a lunch, everybody. I just realized that um, these aren't even meat. So I ate one, but like, you know, I just... Delicious dinner, day two. This is getting really difficult, and the bread is staring at me. Guess who's sick of bacon and eggs? It's me. So I've made um I made this taco mince uh, because I'm just absolutely sick of eating chicken thigh. Like I'm three days in, gonna have to start to think of things that are more exciting for me to eat because I've been just eating the same thing. Like me eating five eggs a day is fucking difficult. But yeah, hell yeah, let's. Let's hook into some lunch. 250 grams of pork and veal mince. That's actually pretty tasty though. Day four. Day four's breakfast. I ditched the sausages and went for chorizo today. And also, I did the good old scramble in the pan eggs. They look like shit. 
Um, I probably won't be winning MasterChef anytime soon, but to be honest with you, I'm actually kind of getting used to this. Like fourth day in, I don't know, like the routine of eating bacon and eggs in the morning is set in now, so I'm, I'm cruising through today. So. so I've had lunch, um, and I had lunch at like 3.30, and the reason for that is because I woke up really late. So like, maybe I won't have dinner tonight. I will, because I'll be hungry. I had lunch really late, so I'll probably have dinner later. Um, because I went out last night. I'm over halfway, like this week. <laughs> this week was gonna be really hard on day three, but now day four, pumping it. Three more days, easy ads, and then what? Then I probably might do this for the rest of my life, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm just pulling up to the most carnivore friendly place in town. McDonald's, baby. <laughs> So my options are extremely limited here. Most likely, it is just gonna be a grilled chicken burger without the burger. But it's 10 o'clock and I cannot be bothered to cook and I, I've, just, I've just run late today. I will make a bigger effort tomorrow. Hi, can I just get a grilled chicken burger, please? A deluxe? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, that's today. Um, no, that's all, thank you. I woke up today. Feeling like an absolute bandit. No, I didn't. I had a terrible sleep last night. But today, I woke up and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do something different. So I'm gonna do something different. Sous vide. So if you don't know what a sous vide is, it's basically the key to a carnivore diet. In my opinion, I mean, look, it's just like a, a water bath. You put these in uh, vacuum sealed bags and then you put them in the water for like two hours and then you've just got meat that's cooked. And then you just like put it in the pan real quick. It's, it's sick, it's gonna be a game changer. It's gonna be awesome. Look at that. Little, little baby meat boy in the bag. Also I put a knife in there to like weigh it down in the water so that it doesn't float. Another absolutely banging steak and egg dinner. I mean, look, day five. We're closing out day five. I feel really quite good. I mean, would I do this again? Definitely not. Could I do this again? Definitely. Like, the sous vide technique is actually phenomenal. Day six. I'm making a pizza today. Let's go. So I found this recipe for, like, a meat-only pizza, and it doesn't really make sense. I mean, it's eggs and cheese as well, but it's just, like, bacon on the bottom, and then egg, and then I'm putting cheese on it. It didn't have cheese, but... You can't really have a pizza with that cheese. I don't have high hopes for this one. Will it taste bad? We'll find out. Most likely though. I've woven my bacon into like, I guess a mat or like a base. And the goal is for it to get crispy and then flip it over and then get crispy and then put the eggs on top, wait for them to cook a bit, put the cheese on top of that and put it all in the oven. All right, this could go very good or very bad. Oh, uh, sometimes I may be good or sometimes I may be shit. It worked, like it worked, but um, is it a pizza? It's bacon, eggs with cheese on top. <laughs> it's not a pizza. All these like keto diets and like vegan diets and stuff, they really want to make things that are the same as regular things, like fake meat and stuff. They're like, this is a burger, it's not. This is a pizza, mm, it's not. It was just so much fat and just fat and grease. Um, I ate half, I'll eat the other half for dinner. But it was alright, it was alright. It is day seven, the final day of the carnivore diet, and I reckon excited is an understatement. I did not have a great time filming this. You know what I mean? Like, it, it wasn't terrible, but like, I definitely won't be excited to be doing this again. Um, so, I've decided that I'll be finishing the last day, you know, in carnivore fashion with the biggest steak I could find at Woolies. Um, a nice T-bone steak, a nice 430 gram T-bone steak. So I'm gonna sous vide that, and then I'll just join you for my final meal. The last supper. I really hope I haven't messed this steak up, to be honest with you. Anyway, that's carnival for a week. I'm gonna go and eat an entire loaf of bread tomorrow just to make up with all the missing carbs that I haven't had this week. Um, yeah, we're well, doing it again. Peace, see you next week.